Hey guys, so welcome back to North Fork. Derek here, and uh, today I'm going to go over a little bit about um, how I clean my boiler, uh, how I um, get the ashes out, clean the ashes out, uh, cleaning the tubes to show you how much uh, how much comes out of that, um, how long it takes. Uh, just kind of go through that a little bit. So, um, kind of explain a little bit more in detail uh, than the last video, um, so you can kind of see the tubes a little bit, see where the air flows, everything like that. So. I'm going to pull this front cover off here and uh, show you a little bit about the tubes. So, let's do that. So that door just comes off. Um, a little bit of dirt comes out. Uh, these are the tubes in here, so let's get a better look at them. So these are the 12 tubes in here. There are six on the right side, six on the left side. The right side is coming from the, the back of the boiler. Uh, the smoke is drawing towards the front this point and then the six on the left side uh, the smoke is going to be drawn out towards uh, the chimney side this is the, the last pass through this is the second pass through um, again you can see the little bit of uh, flaky build up in here it's probably been a month and a half since I cleaned this out um, so we'll go on the uh, the back side here I'll show you the tubes on the other side and show you how we clean them so this is the back side of the boiler uh, Again, on the, the right side over here, this is the side that goes up to the chimney. Um, on the left side here, this is the side that comes from the, the, uh, from the burn chamber and goes out to the front. So we'll pull the covers off here and show you a little bit better. This is the in between the first and the second pass, so that's why there's these bricks in here, these fire blocks, just because it's the hottest. You're probably up around five or 600 degrees at this point. So again, this uh, six inch tube that comes from the firebox, the burn chamber, smoke will be drawn out towards the back, then it'll be drawn towards the front that goes through these six pipes out to the front side like we already saw. This is where we'll get the most creosote on this side. Um, this is the biggest buildup as it comes out of the insulated boiler and up into the, the chimney, uh, cools down the most, condensates all the all the water uh, so we will get some build up in here again for a month and a half um, doesn't look too bad here a little bit more build up than I usually see um, but we'll clean it out get the, uh, the brush in here and let you guys see that So this creosote, while it might look like a lot, um, there's nothing that's really sticky or wet, uh, which is what you'd be concerned about um, if you were burning a wood stove. Um, it's typically dry. I do find that the amount of creosote is proportional to uh, how dry I feel that the wood is. Um, this wood that I'm burning right now, this past month, uh, it's only been in the wood pile for uh, probably less than a year. Uh, I like to try to get my wood cut and drying for about two years. I think that's ideal uh, to get the moisture content as low as possible. Uh, just from building the house and moving up here, I haven't been able to get caught up on, on where I want to be with firewood. Hopefully this year I can do that, uh, but that's part of the reason why um, I feel that there's a little more creosote to this this time around. Plus it's been about a month and a half since I cleaned this. Typically I do it about once a month. So while it's not bad, um, it is a little bit more excessive. Um, Typically, I use the same bucket to clean out. Uh, it's a three-gallon bucket. I get not quite two gallons. This will probably be a little bit over. So this is the front side. You can see there's some creosote buildup in here from brushing the tubes out. 
move this off. Let's go ahead and clean this out. So overall, that's not too bad. Um, probably right around two gallons. Um, free stuff that comes out of that. Again, a little bit more than usual, but not a whole lot more. Um, so overall, to clean the tubes, that took me about 15 minutes. Do that once a month. Uh, that's really the only maintenance that I do. I pull the ashes out uh, every couple weeks. Um, but overall, very little maintenance, very little required uh, for this boiler. So I'm going to clean the ashes out of the inside. Got the ash pan right here. Uh, open the door so I can see in it. So I leave a little bit of ashes in there, uh, just a little bit to insulate the bottom for when I put the uh, the next load of wood in. Um, it's good not to clean it completely out clean. Uh, but overall, there's not a whole lot of ash came out. That's probably about three weeks worth of burning. Here in the summer, it's only a couple loads. But um, again, it doesn't doesn't use a whole lot of wood, so um, does a pretty good job. So that's basically it for how I clean the gasification boiler. It is a little bit dirty um, downstairs in the basement here. Sweep up afterwards. Um, but overall, the nice thing about it being in the basement, being indoors, I don't lose any heat. Um, I'm not running pipes underground. I'm not losing any heat to the outside. Any heat that does come out through this R70 insulation around it um, is captured by the basement. Again, the basement stays 60 degrees all year long. Um, so I don't lose any heat at all. I'm not burning extra wood um, to account for any heat loss. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.